Is this what you call the unsinkable ship? Welcome back to our channel. I am Cheryl, aka Bamboo. And I'm Panda, aka Nat. So, for today's episode, what we're gonna bring to you guys is um, we're gonna showcase you around Macau. Yes. To show you the place or the country we have been living and working for quite some time now. Yes, quite some so, time. We are here not only to enjoy our as time, but mm -hmm. to bring you a juicy episode. Yes. So for this episode, we decided to act like tourists and show you around Macau. We're going to take you to the places we think you should visit when you come here and, well, visit us. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this episode, and remember... Hit like and subscribe down below, and if you really like this episode or have questions, leave a comment. Yeah. Yeah. So, shall we? Oh, wait. First, well, I know what we need to do. We're going to order room service for tomorrow. So, mm. Mm, yes. All right. So, let's get this. Yes. So, ooh, yes. Mm. I'm going to have that. What Chinese inspirations. I thought I knew it was inspiration. All right, let's go. Upon arrival, we got ourselves checked in with the staff at the St. Regis Macau. The staff here were truly wonderful and accommodating, and most of all, they were very, very helpful. If you come here, we strongly recommend you come and stay at the St. Regis. Again, we're not sponsored, so they're not paying us to say that. In fact, we paid them so we could say that. Anywho, you should really come here and stay at the St. Regis. Not only that, the accommodations are wonderful. And speaking of accommodations, they actually gave us a free upgrade with a room with a view. I mean, just take a look at this room. It is gorgeous.
All right, so now that we're finally heading out to Macau, let's give you a little bit of a brief history on Macau. First of all, Macau was actually founded by the Portuguese in the 1500s. Thank you. Oh. So it was roughly 1500s, 1600s, I think. Can't remember, I'll get the information later. What happened was, Portuguese ship was actually sailing through a typhoon and landed here. So when it landed, they didn't know it was Macau, but they were accepted by the locals here, and over time they actually colonized the place, which was pretty cool. But since then, Macau has turned into what's called an SAR by China. This happened in the 1990s when Portugal surrendered Macau back to uh, mainland China under the agreement that for 50 some years that Macau was a special administrative region. Well, unlike Hong Kong, Macau has gambling. And unlike Hong Kong and China, Macau is the only place in China and Hong Kong where gambling is legal. So that's why we have all these massive hotel and casino resorts. So yeah, a little bit of information there. So getting to Macau from Hong Kong is actually quite simple. There's two options. You can either take a ferry, and the ferry goes either Taipa or Macau side, or you can take the bridge over. Now our recommendation is if you are going to be taking the ferry, you take it from central Hong Kong, meaning if you're staying in Hong Kong for a few days, take the ferry because if you try to take the bridge over from Hong Kong, it takes longer than it would if you were to just take the ferry. If you're coming from the airport directly here, the bridge is much, much faster because the bridge is right next to the Hong Kong International uh, Airport. So that is something you should remember when coming from here from Hong Kong. Now, if you're coming here via plane to Macau, you can't because Macau has an international airport. It's not as big as Hong Kong International Airport, but it does serve quite a bit of countries and states, or sorry, countries and cities, so. Okay, so now that we're heading out, we wanna make sure you guys understand one extremely important thing. It is best to pick the time of season you want to come to Macau because as you can see as it's getting bright in my face, we're here in roughly summer and it's hot and it is humid here. So if you don't like sweating and you don't like the hot, harsh sun, don't come in the summertime. We would recommend if you want, if you'd like it nice and cool and not as humid, we would recommend January to March is the best time. December, that's okay. But January to February and March, it's a lot cooler. The humidity is a lot less. And it's a great time to actually be able to walk around. It is cooler, so you might want to bring jeans for this. Nice t-shirt. Shorts. Yeah, I got white legs. And yeah. Just remember that. And if you're like my wife, who is way ahead of me, you can bring an umbrella. And honestly, I'm going to try to catch up to her so I can get the umbrella. On, hold up! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, better. So yeah, as funny as it sounds, having an umbrella on a hot sunny day, it makes a lot of sense. So let's get going.
Okay, so like we said, there's several ways to get around uh, to Macau. Now we're going to talk about getting around. Uh, one of them is bus, second one is taxi, and for Taipa area only or Taipa Island, LRT. LRT is the light rail transit system that they just opened up not too long ago. Now, obviously, we are on a bus going towards Macau. So, just so you know, there's two ways you can use the bus. One is with the Macau bus pass. If you can get one, awesome. It's a little bit cheaper. But you can also pay in coins, which is 6 MOP, or M-O-P, which is the Macau Petakas. That is actually the currency of Macau. Now, some of you are wondering, what about other currencies? How can I do exchanges and all that? Well, truth be told, in Macau, you can use Hong Kong. Uh, it's exchanged one to one, even though we would recommend you try to get uh, Patakas because it's kind of interesting and it looks cool. Also, uh, fun fact about the Macau uh, Pataka or the mob, you can't use it outside of the country. <laughs> you can only use it here. And the casinos, from last time I understand, they only accept Macau, uh, they only accept Hong Kong dollar. Ah, stop. <laughs> So those are, little, those are just little bits of information you need to know. So if you're going to come here, just remember, you can bring Hong Kong dollar. It's okay. You can get mop. You can use both uh, for taxis and for uh, just about everything else here except for buses and the LRT. You can use Hong Kong dollar for the LRT and for the... Okay, get those people in the back. And for the LRT and for the bus, it's MOP. So now we are here in Macau side, more specifically in Sonata Square. So Han Pa So. Basalt. All right, anywho, as Cyril was saying, yes, we are in Sonata Square. Sonata Square was actually built in the 1700s, 1800s, around that time. <laughs> and Sonata Square is actually in Portuguese, oh Senate Square. Because all the buildings that you see around us used to be all colonial houses from the Portuguese and mainly for all the Senate here. So this is actually a very popular tourist hub. As you can tell right now, it's not crowded. Typically, it gets very crowded here, but because of the whole situation with COVID and tourism, it's a little less crowded. But when tourism starts up again, it will get crowded here. Last year alone, Macau received over 30 million plus visitors. 30 million. That's insane. So you can imagine this square gets very full very fast. Another reason why it gets full very fast isn't just because it's a beautiful square, it's also because you have so many shops here. So there's a lot of shopping to be had here. So if you walk down the square, you're gonna find a lot of shops and a good place to have coffee. Speaking of coffee, it's hot out here, I'm sweating. I think it's time for an ice cold coffee. What do you think, Han? Let's go. After we finished our iced coffees, we decided to walk around Sonata Square a little bit. We came upon St. Dominic's Church, which was built in, in the 17th century. This is a great spot for taking photos and sitting around and relaxing and just enjoying the day. If you don't want to do that, you can shop till you drop, or if you wish, there are some restaurants around here so you can get some quick snacks. Speaking of churches, now we're heading to the ruins of St. Paul. The ruins of St. Paul was a Catholic uh, cathedral that was built back around uh, 1601, I believe, and it, since then it had burned down three or four times. The last one, last time it burned down was during a pretty bad typhoon, but it's a wonderful spot to take photos and it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, so when you get here, come check it out. See, told you, perfect photo opportunity here. So, uh, as I was saying, this is a great spot to sit down and relax and enjoy the day, but also over here is a fortress, which is right next to the ruins of St. Paul. Uh, if you can, 
go up there and enjoy it. It has a nice little view around Macau and you can see the majority of Macau as well as it's also a museum so it's full of history. So that's a plus and it's right next to the ruins of St. Paul. All right, now I gotta get my wife to stop taking selfies and get back to work. Han! Pretty sure some of you guys are wondering why if this is during the pandemic that our COVID-19 situation why are we removing our face mask well one reason is so you can actually see us talking but two we're actually being respectful and we're making sure we're social distancing so no one's around us so that's when we only time we actually really take off our mask if Macau was as crowded as it is normally during uh, normal times here then yes we would have the mask on at all times but for now we only take it off when we are away from everyone and we are practicing safe social distancing so that's just so you know if you're wondering why we're always removing the mask we're being safe but we're also making sure you can actually see what we're saying Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed our day trip in Macau for today. So that's all for now and... And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Again, thanks for the support and we truly hope you enjoyed this film. If you have any suggestions or any ideas that you would want us to... To do, like maybe good places to eat in Macau when you come and visit? or places to you know get something to drink because let's face it it's hot it's humid and you're going to sweat so yeah so we hope you enjoyed yourselves and thanks for watching this video with us by the way before we finally end this video we haven't got actually the boba yet ah uh, yes know? the boba the Pearl. tiny little black balls Milky. that you suck on yes yeah all right i guess we're gonna have to go and get some boba. So let's go. What? That's what happens when you don't push. Push it. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I, I really don't like balls hitting in the back of my mouth, so. <laughs> Alright. Bye. <laughs>